Hello guys, this is Crafty Fox, and welcome to Natbird Station, where we're going to be learning how to build Daisy, the diesel rail car from Thomas Friends in Minecraft. So if you saw this video yesterday, uh, you would know that it's not available anymore, and I private it because um, there was a significant flaw. I actually added another axle in the front, and that's because uh, in the prototype they used Boko's chassis or whatever. And uh, someone came on my server and just helped me out. And we also uh, changed the color of the bottom, made it black. So it's kind of hard to see, but at least it'll be more accurate. So anyways, uh, let's get started on Daisy. So first off, let's add red wool. Three blocks above the tracks in the middle. Make it three blocks wide. And then add pistons to the sides. And then let's take a black wool and add three in the middle and make this 32 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 2, 2 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, maybe 32. Okay, I got a little carried away there. So, And I don't feel like redoing the video like just because of that, you know. Sometimes I do that in the beginning if I mess up. I just want to start all over again just to make it more perfect. But I think I'm good for now. So yeah, anyways, we're just adding the bottom. And then let's add the back. So we're just going to do the same thing that we did in the front. Add the red wool and the pistons on the sides. And then let's add another brick fence on either side of the middle. And add a lever in the middle. Pull it down go to the other side and, and let's do the same exact thing all right so next we're gonna add a uh, black wall right here behind the piston do this to all four pistons and underneath it let's add a lever so we can extract the piston head yep yeah, so that we can get our buffers all right, the next thing you want to do is take a uh, lime wool, add that above the piston. And then let's take uh, another brick uh, stairs, just add this all along the sides. And this is also another update that I did to the design. Of course, you can make your builds always better. I'm lucky like someone caught it on the first day because <laughs> then I can redo it right now so I don't have to like wait like five months or whatever you know eventually I think I will like redo all the Thomas friends models once I finish them because sometimes new blocks come up or like new ideas pop up and you want to improve your design to make it more accurate because you notice something's off oh my god it's going to take forever alright so once we're done with that let's take uh, gold and add that around like a gold border originally I used the yellow wool but now uh, once I used gold before <laughs> it looks so much better honestly and it fits Daisy because she is uh, a really classy engine. What did she say? This is like something high maintenance. She had a, there was like a phrase to go along with it. I forgot, but I remembered it the last time I made this video. So, anyways, just fill that in with lime wool on the sides, this side as well. Yeah, and then add a lime wool border around going all the way around yep going this way um. oh yeah highly sprung that was the term highly sprung You know, Daisy is actually a pretty weird engine since she has makeup on. Like, no other engine has that. It's kind of crazy. 
in my opinion. So anyways, we just added gold to the front and the back, and we're going to make these uh, green on the sides. Uh, unfortunately, we can't always do the stripes because if we did, then Daisy would be mostly yellow, which we don't want. So we want to preserve the green lime wool color. And that's why we're going to limit the stripes just to the top and the bottom. And next thing we're going to do is go down here and let's add the wheels. So we're going to take black wool. And it's uh, really hard to see actually. <laughs> and go to the middle, uh, right behind, right after this lever. Go three blocks in the middle. Fill that in with wool. Actually, let's stick it out so it's like five blocks wide. And then we're gonna make our first wheel. So make a T shape. And no, it's really hard to see. So let me just change. The shaders because CUDA looks a lot better all right yeah I bet you could see a lot better now at least I can for sure so I'm making this wheel I just added the nether brick stairs to the corners and also add them to the top corners as well so that's our first wheel Do the same thing on the side gonna pop it open all right so that's why I opened it up I mean because then you could see inside the floor. That's why I had the floor in the other one. I was so confused why I did that. All right, so after we do that, we're gonna have to make this uh, bogey thing. So uh, let me just get bedrock. See what's inside here. Okay, there's nothing inside. So uh, we're gonna skip one, two, three, three blocks. So just skip three blocks to make the next wheel. So there should be three blocks of space between it. And uh, this side as well. <clears throat> then let's add the nether brick stairs to all the corners of it. And I know some people have been asking me to make a video just on Sodor. And I think I will do that since it's a pretty cool idea although there's not much on this island of soda right now but I think it'll be um, good for the future because then I'll do an update video for it and then you can see the difference so next we're gonna do the same thing in the back we're gonna add a row behind the levers make it five blocks wide then we're gonna make our first wheel same thing on the other side then we're going to skip three blocks, so like around here. And remember to take off the top corners of it so that you can place uh, the nether brick stairs. Come on. And then some people were like, oh, <laughs> I didn't get to finish the tutorial. So I'm wondering if like halfway while they're watching the video it just gets turned off or something. Well I think if they loaded it it should be fine. So now we have our wheels and then we have to add the the thing that connects them together. So we're going to take black wool and add this uh, sort of a bracket around. So you see this is the middle of the wheel which is going to attach it to the black wool row in front do the same thing on the side but we didn't add the nether brick stairs so let me do that right now and it's always tricky to do the wheels like the curve is so annoying you have to place the stairs in a specific way or you'll mess up alright I think I did the other side as well so now we're gonna add the black wool connect the center of the first wheel like the middle of it and for the wheels in the middle of Daisy we're just gonna add the same bracket thing going all the way around connecting the middle parts if you know what I mean I hope you get what you <laughs> I hope you get what I mean alright so after we do that let's actually go inside and uh, fill in these holes 
because we don't want that. Ideally, you would just fill in this whole part, but I'm just going to fill in the gaps where you can see into Daisy. Alright, so after we do that, let's make Daisy's face. So get, this is also a different, I'm <laughs> different idea that I did from the last Daisy video. So I'm just going to cord stairs upside down like that in the front. Make a five blocks wide, and above that, let's make a uh, two by five of block of quartz. Then above that, we want to get quartz slab all the way across, and that's Daisy face. And let's add lime wool in the middle. I mean, alongside the middle, make it two blocks tall. Same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna add black wool right above it three blocks wide and above that we're gonna add a block of quartz and a lime carpet this is for the little lamp in the front and fun fact Daisy has three lamps in the back so let's add that right now one two three and I actually did see in the CGI one Daisy's back for like the first time and it actually looks like this apparently so next let's add bedrock and we're gonna add this in the gap between the wheels so like right here just add this bedrock in the middle so that's like three bedrocks and just do that to all four parts alright next let's add another brick stairs and uh, let me do this side so just place it like this alongside the bedrock so it looks like that and also uh, above and below it we want to add another brick slab uh, like this so it's gonna go one block beyond the nether brick stairs so it should look like this so it connects in the middle that makes sense let's do this side And connect it. Then we gotta do the other side. I bet I say that a lot in tutorials. Hey, we can just do stairs and then slabs. Right now, I am pretty sweaty. It's so hot inside. I should probably turn on the AC. But when I'm making videos, I can't do that because it'll make too much noise, if you know what I mean. I have a loud AC. Incredibly loud. Alright, so after we're done with that, we got our nice wheels, and it looks like that's the bottom. And now let's work towards the top, so where the windows are. So we're going to take black stained glass and add that uh, three windows in the front. Go to the back. Add three windows in the back and let's add a window right here and let's go to the front and let's take lime wool and add a 2x2 two two. then black stained glass and then a row or a column of lime wool then a 2x3 of black stained glass uh, people are joining my server then a column of lime wool and then two by three black stained glass again then a column column black stained glass column thing lime wool column and get out of my way beef all right and then we're gonna make a two by three of black stained glass And then column of lime wool, then two by three again, black stained glass, then column of lime wool, and then a column <laughs> of black stained glass, then lime wool, and then column of black stained glass again, and a two by two of lime wool, then a column of black stained glass, and just fill in the rest with lime wool. So these guys, they don't know I'm making a video, so that's why they're messing around. 
So anyways, uh, let's add block of gold to this top part on the sides. Alright, and then let's do the other side. Alright, then let's add stone brick slab right here. Go all the way ab above the block of gold. And we should be almost finished now with Daisy. Gotta add those railings on the sides. Alright, so next we're going to add iron bars to the single door, so there's going to be three doors and actually four doors on each side. So the end ones, they're just going to have one towards the middle, and the middle one, they're just like regular, like on both sides like this. Just make it three blocks tall, iron bars, and here's another door you can imagine where the doors are since this window is tiny. And another one here and go to the back right here as well let's do the other side towards the middle then this one and lastly but not least they always say that last but not least alright so next let's add lime wool right on the roof and just fill her in and it, after that we should be done with Daisy I wonder how long this video is, probably, in my mind, it's like 12 minutes, could be 15, or maybe it's nice, like 10 minutes, I don't know. Alright, so that's basically how you build Daisy in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and sorry about that, I had to make the other video uh, privatized because I made a mistake uh, but anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future and if you want to do train commissions you can check out my cell I, I do commissions for two dollars per train but anyways guys I'll see you guys later bye